All's well? All right. On three, we're going to say happy pie day. Okay? One, two, three. Happy pie day! Oh, I'm so excited. How are you feeling today, Tayana? I'm so excited that yeah. it is March 14th. It is pie day. I know, right? Pie day, March 14th. But, um, what is pie? What, what is pie? Do you know what pie is? Well, I like to eat it's pie. Good. But hey, we're not just talking about pies, are we? To eat, are we? No, we're talking about the math pie. The math pie. <laughs> so it's like a pie with numbers in it or something? It's pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can say that. It's a pie <laughs> with numbers. Well, if you guys have your little booklets, okay? You got your little booklets? Or you may have your books come to you soon, okay? So if you don't have your book yet, because I know some are still being delivered, you can get some of this information right here. So, in the back here, on the last page, it's got some information about pie. So let's take a look at it. It says uh, 3.14. What is this 3. Is that the whole number? It is definitely. So there's more than just 3.14? There is a lot more than I'm just like, 3.14. You mean like another two or three numbers? Maybe like a couple thousand. A couple thousand a couple numbers? Thousand numbers. No, way. no way, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> this is wild. Let's see what else it says on here. It says, right, uh, pi is the, there's a new word for kids, right? It says pi is the ratio of a circle circumference and its diameter. Okay. So, it's the ratio comparing between going around the circle and you divide that by going across the circle. Okay. And you get the same number every time. Yes. Isn't that pretty amazing? That is pretty cool. Because who discovered that? <laughs> well, it tells more about that in your little pamphlet. Yes. You let the kids find that one. But look at this. Look at this. What's that say? The first thousand decimal places. The first thousand decimal places are hard. First thousand? That the means there's more! There's a lot more than you say. There's probably millions and millions <laughs> and billions. <laughs> wow. It just goes on for infinity. I'm telling you, infinity. <laughs> that means forever, right? Forever. I'm telling you. Ever. And never, and never, and never. So, I want to know how many numbers do you think you could memorize? With a lot of practice, maybe 50. Maybe 50? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think of, uh, off the top of my head, I know I can say 3.14159. And you can tell me it's March 14. <laughs> and it's 159. It's actually 119. So that 159 is the official time. All right, now, you said you could memorize 50, but I know you could do 100. 100? That's right. You know how I know? How do you know? I'm going to show you something here. Oh, what is okay. it? Oh, this is a song. It's a you song? Know? It's a song. Does it teach you the numbers? It teaches you the numbers. Is it a catchy song? It's a very catchy song. Oh, Would you like to see it? I love that song. And you guys, I know you want to see it too. Come on, take a look at this song here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this.
that can do 10 times that many from memory. That's a thousand. That's a thousand digits. A thousand digits. A thousand digits. From their memory. From their memory. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and guess what? What? He didn't even use a song. He didn't use the song. He didn't use the song. So he learned it all by himself. All by himself. Can you imagine that? I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. But you know what's even more amazing than that? Why? To him, a thousand is nothing. Nothing? Do you know why? How many does he know? More than 10,000. 10,000 10, from memory. From memory. That is crazy. Amazing, right? Yeah. Even more than that. <laughs> he got 10,000 last week Friday just for fun. For fun. For fun. You gotta love it. <laughs> you gotta love yeah. it, right? So let's introduce this gentleman. Here we have Mr. Troy Ashby of Bermuda College. Okay, Mr. Troy Ashby. All right. Mr. Ashby. Okay. So we have Mr. Troy Ashby from Bermuda College. And he right now is going to do a thousand digits. A whole thousand. A whole thousand digits. <laughs> that is amazing. From memory. From memory. From memory. And we get to watch it. We get to watch it live that right is now. So cool. Now, if you already have your pamphlet, some of you do, some of you don't. But if you already have your pamphlet, you want to be on the first thousand decimal places page, okay? And you want to follow along. Now, if you don't have your pamphlet yet. You can just look it up on Google right now. Just type in the first thousand digits of pi, and you can have a copy of it handy if you don't have this yet. All right? So without any further ado, let's get started. Mr. Ashley, he's going to do the first thousand digits of pi. Let's take a watch. Okay. Now, how, how do you, how, isn't this truly really amazing? This really is. I'm so interested. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I can believe that. Look at it. It passed me already. <laughs> <laughs> this has he, to be a world record. He, hey, actually, you know what? He is on the world high records list. That's right. That is an amazing accomplishment. That is an accomplishment. And when he finishes the next one, he will be, I believe, like eighth in the world, something like that. Eighth in or the world. In the whole world. The Not whole just for you. Yeah, right. Everywhere else. Isn't that wild? That is. <laughs> That is something else. And yeah. We have information about it right here. Okay. Okay. So you talked about earlier that you're an actuary. You're you're what? No, we haven't even talked about what you do. <laughs> what do you do? I am a here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here because I love math right. and decided to use it as the basis for my career. So okay, first of all, what's a career? A career is a job that you choose to do kind of for the rest of your life. Kind for of. a portion of it. Okay. okay. And so what is this career that you chose? So I have decided to choose the actuarial route and Act become an actuary. So you yeah, actually an yeah, actuary? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually learning to be an actuary. Okay. So alright, now we know that there are a lot of little kitties in there. And um, that's kind of a little close-up of some of the numbers there. That's kind of a little close-up of us over here as well, right? So, we know we're talking about a lot of little kids, and um, we have the, you said a actuary? An actuary. A uh, actuary? <laughs> what did you say? Actuary. Actuary, okay. So, does this actuary use like mathematics? Very much so every day. So, you have a job? But you get to do math every day? Yes, I do. All day? All day, pretty wow. much. Wow. <laughs> and you're not a math teacher? I am not a math teacher. And you do math all day? And I do math oh, all wow. day. So do actuaries, what do you call it? Actuaries. Do actuaries, um, do they make a lot of money? They make a very lot of money. Wow, <laughs> so you get to have fun doing math all day. And then you pay for it. Yeah, yes, yes, you pay for it. I can't believe that you get paid to do like math all day. Yes. Like you kids, like you're <laughs> in school and you have to do math for free. You should get paid. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Wow. So you said you're an actuary and you say you do math every single day, but but what is it that an actuary does? So an actuary values risk. Values risk. So, what does 
that mean when you say it values risk? So in life, there are a lot of risky events that can cost someone a lot of money. Like what? For example, we all live in Bermuda and we have hurricane season. Oh, and wow. hurricanes can be a really easy small hurricane or it can be a super big hurricane. Mm -hmm. And they cause damage sometimes to people's vehicles, to people's homes, and that can cost someone a lot of money. Uh, more money than what they have available. Yes, more money than what they would always have. So, what you're saying is, say for example, a hurricane hits Bermuda, yeah. and it damages my house, and it damages my house so much that I can't afford to pay. What do I do? So, what you would do mm -hmm. is have insurance. So, what's insurance? What does that mean? Insurance? is protecting someone from these terrible events. So you so are we protecting from a hurricane? <laughs> not from the damage, but from the cost that the hurricane Oh, uh, right? so my house still gets damaged. But you can now afford to fix it with insurance. Because you give me money? Because we do. We will give you, you the money. You give me money to fix my house? Yes. So what do I have to do to get this money? Just call a hurricane? <laughs> So you have to sign up and get an insurance policy. For you, it will be homeowner's insurance. So I buy, so I have to pay for insurance. Yes, you Not pay insurance. some money today, mm -hmm. and you pay some money almost every year you have the policy. Mm -hmm. So that if something bad does happen, you are guaranteed to cover the cost of that bad thing. Ah, I see. So it's something like, I pay, for example, a hundred dollars a month, maybe or less. Yeah. Something or two hundred dollars a month. Yeah. And then, if something bad happens, your a company would give me fifty thousand dollars. They would give you the price. Yes. Of what I need to fix my house. Of what you need to fix your house. So where do you come into this? So, who is to determine the price of the damage? And who is to determine how much you should give the company to cover those future losses? Uh, That's what an actuary works on. I see. So you help the insurance companies to say how much money they can pay out yes. so that they can actually pay out. Yes, we help value the risk. So no one's going to know how much money the damage will be until mm -hmm. it happens. Mm -hmm. But you can predict, you can make educated guesses. This is where the math comes in with probability and statistics. Ah, okay. Just thinking of the math. Look at that already. Let's see if you got it right. Let's see if you got it right. You're not going to be here. Boy, I need some eyes. Thanks. All right. I need some eyes. Because let's see how you make it out here. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that's pretty awesome, right? It really I mean, is. I mean, that is pretty awesome. I know. Well, I'm going to take the time to learn that song. Yeah, I'm going to learn the song. My church knew the song. Your church They knew the song, yeah. That is awesome. So they know the first 100 digits of pop. That's right. They know more than their dad. How more than their dad? One's 11. Only 11 that's years right. old. Because what we have to do is memorize the song. Yeah. And it's easy to memorize the song, especially when it's catchy. You know what I like at? I think Kevin kind of Matt should do a pie song. That would be really cool. I think so. It should be the pie day thing. I, yeah, I agree. With that. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get the Kevin Matt pie song done. Up. That's right. I'm going to get it done. Up. That sounds awesome. And then we can have that for our theme next year yeah. on pie day. Mm, and we can share it with all the students. Yes. That would be awesome. I think that would be a great idea. What other ideas do we have to do with pie next year as well? Well, everyone's already eating pie. I know, right? <laughs> that, that is awesome. That is awesome, right? Mmm, <laughs> yum, yum. Did you get your pie? I have not gotten my pie yet, but we're going to eat after this. You sure are. <laughs> Legal 
Illinois General, Pacific Life Free, Somerset Free, and Milton Free. Yay! I thank these guys because these are the ones that made this possible today. These are the ones that provide pies and have really been the sponsors and the drivers, and they've also helped to sponsor some camp groceries. So awesome. this is great, right? Yeah. And so we're so grateful to Milton and all these organizations that helped out. And this is what it says about Bilton right here. It says, Bermuda International Long-Term Insurers and Reinsurers acts as an advocate for Bermuda's life, re and re insurance, and reinsurance industry. Check out our exciting 23 summer internship uh, opportunities for Bermuda University students. So there's a link in here for college kids. So, if you have siblings that are thinking about college or whatever, there's a link in there for you to check out for your internship opportunities with Milton. Did you do that? I did. Tell I us about this. <laughs> tell, tell, tell us what about this. I actually started my journey with Bilter as a Bilter intern in summer 2019. And guess what company? What company was that? Bilton Reed. Bilton Reed. Yes. So you've done your internship with Bilton Reed. And, and then what happened after that? They loved me so much. I <laughs> and my love of math. Mm -hmm. And they hired me full time to work with them. So filter and Wilson has been a big part of my career. Look at that. And think about it. They offer these internship uh, opportunities all the time, you know? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Summertime, there are more than just these six companies here that offer internships to Bermuda students. Exactly. So, if you like math and this is something that you're interested in, this is a good business. Yes. You know what I mean? And what I like, what I really like right here is that we have three math people sitting here right now, right? So, we have an educator in mathematics, right? Then you have an entrepreneur in mathematics. And then we have an actuary in mathematics. Look at that. <laughs> you see, there are several careers that involve mathematics, not just in, in education. There's entrepreneurship. What's entrepreneurship? You know what that means? Let's see if I get it right. Let's see if you get it right. I believe entrepreneurs are those who choose to work and create their own company. That's right. That's yes, right. I got it. That's you got it. That's <laughs> correct. Just like that and that. And so, being an entrepreneur, I do mathematics all the time. I do math all day just like you. So, what do you do in your job? Okay, what do I do in my job? Okay, what do I not do? <laughs> when it comes to the mathematics, when it comes to running a business, I have to write a lot of things called, they're called proposals, yeah. right? And proposals, I have to basically convince organizations to support us. But I have to give them numbers. So I have to calculate things. You see, I have to say, here's an example. We had a high day today. Yep. I have to write a proposal today. You know, I mean, uh, companies are not just going to support you. You have to show them why. You see what so I'm saying? You do have to write reasons why mm -hmm. this day should have happened. And I need the mathematics behind it. Mm -hmm. I need to calculate can we do parts for all the students? Can we, can we print all brochures? How much do these brochures cost? How long is it going to take the pies to get to the schools? <laughs> That's a good one, right? <laughs> How long are the pies going to take the school? How hot will they be? All of these are mathematical decisions that we're going through all day long. And that's just one event. Then we have spring camp. How many kids can we build in a camp? How much do we charge for the camp? Is the price the right price? Just like you do pricing, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> we do pricing as well, see? So in my as an entrepreneur, I use a lot of math. And I have to calculate all the time. I have to figure out, hmm, take this jungle gym. Look at that jungle gym over there. See that beautiful jungle gym over there? Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It looks like see? a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. But as an entrepreneur, I have to determine the cost of it. Could it fit inside of here? If I put it in here, would it take up too much space? Would it take away space that we need? See, and we have to measure it out, you know, yeah. calculate the cost, 
calculated how tall it would be. It's not much space in itself, right? It sounds <laughs> like you had to use more math than me. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm told. <laughs> that is <laughs> You know what I mean? So yeah, we do a lot of these mathematics here every single day, especially for entrepreneurs. One of my good friends I was talking to just uh, last week, he's also an entrepreneur, and he was telling me, math all day. Math all day. Math all day, because you got to calculate do you ever get tired of how much math you do? No. No? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all, you know? Because the more math I do, the more we can do with the kind of math. The more programs we can bring, the more camps, the more everything we can do. And so the more math I do, or the more math we do, the more people have math. That is Isn't that amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so wonderful. Doing all the calculations, working out. How many, how much the pies cost? <laughs> Man, I'm trying to get them to deliver because how many delivery agents do we need? <laughs> so, how many schools are you delivering to this event? I believe it was 15, I, I believe, but there might be even more. What? And just even yes. delivery, she doesn't even have to think right now, right? Who? The delivery agents, Sargasso. Oh, <laughs> So that's going to be one of the I guess. <laughs> So they not only delivered it for us, but they sponsored the delivery. That's right. Thank that you, sorry guys. So we appreciate you guys sponsoring the delivery of the pie. So it sounds like it took a lot of people to make pie day happen. Oh, they didn't have one. And you know Matt, Matt McPhail, right? Yes, but if you know Matt. Maybe he was on the radio this morning talking about pie. I hope everyone tuned in. I hope so too, you know? But at the end, and we had, as a matter of fact, you know what? I can put the question out there. Okay, what is it? For, for, I put out two questions. Hmm. So teachers, and everybody that's tuned in, I'm going to ask the two questions that I put out on the radio. Let me put it up here real quick. So every Tuesday and uh, Wednesday, or not to Wednesday, every Tuesday and Friday, we send out questions to Live One Three, and you go live. So we were on this morning, and we had five questions. Okay, you want to read five questions here? This this question here. Uh, let's see, teachers, make sure you get this one here. Especially our P five and six students, and Tayana's going to read this one. I should read it two times to make sure you get all the information. Are you ready? Go ahead. Okay. Planet Okay, Planet Math, along with Bilter, are delivering yummy DeGrasse lunch wagon savory pies to all primary kids in Bermuda today. If the diameter of the pie is four inches, what is its area? Mm -hmm. So let's get that one more time so that they, teachers make sure you get all the important information there. So here's the important part. If the diameter of the pie is four inches, what is its area? All right, so that's question number one. Now, P5, P6 students, you may be able to tackle this one. Now, this next question, all of you can handle this one. Go ahead, Ty, I'm gonna read this one okay. here. Okay, ready? St. George's Prep received 136 chicken pies and 92 beef pies. How many more chicken pies did they receive? All right, let's read it one more time to make sure okay. I get those numbers. Ready? St. George's Prep received 136 chicken pies and 92 beef pies. How many more chicken pies did they receive? All right, so those are the two questions. We will leave those up for now and uh, answer them a little bit longer. A little bit later, okay. and let's see if you guys can get them right in your classes. Let's see how Mr. Ash is doing over here. I'm going to see if I can follow along here and see how he's making up. Let's take a peek here. So, I think I found exactly where he is. He did? He is in the second column, the second row from oh, the bottom. Look at that. Yeah. He's almost done. Wow, he is right. Writing the first thousand. <laughs>
<laughs> wow. Okay, are you ready for another pie joke? Okay, what's another All joke? Right, right. Here's another pie joke. Here's another pie joke. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Who was the roundest knight at the round table? Who was the roundest knight <laughs> at the round table? If it's a knight, I know it's going to be Sir Pie. <laughs>
That's impressive. That's impressive. That is super. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. I don't see any. I don't see any mistakes either. I, I, I mean, you know, just make sure that you guys at home got a nice little picture of it just now. You'll give you one more chance to get it. If you, got a, if you can record the screen real quickly or take a screenshot, put it in an angle so that they can see it really well. And um, check it out. See if there's any arrows in that. <laughs> so make a nice screenshot right now. Make sure you got that. That is truly amazing. That, that's truly amazing. Any mistakes, anybody? How about you, Ty? You see any mistakes in there? No mistakes. Not yet, anyway. Man. All right, so that is the task for all you guys there. Make sure you get your screenshot and uh, see if you can find any mistakes. So what we'd like to do right now, we'd just like to give Mr. Ashby, Mr. Troy William Ashby of Mirror College a huge round of applause for that. I mean, like, that was amazing. That's, that's what we did that. That's that. That's, that's, that's truly amazing. Kids in Bermuda, they are truly impressed with you right now. Not just the kids, they teachers, the adults, <laughs> and me, everyone, you know? So we want to thank you, Mr. Ashby. We also, oh, also, everybody, just keep in mind, in less than six minutes, at 1.59 is the official pie time, right? So at 1.59, just make sure you go shout out, happy pie, baby, okay? <laughs> So just to go through a couple of days here before we wrap up. Okay, so you should all have your pies now. Definitely by now. If you don't have your pie, we are sorry about that. But we hope you have your pies now. This is your pamphlet. In here, it talks about our lovely sponsors, Builder and Sargasso. Thank you guys so much again. And all six of those companies, we have Theory, Authority, Legal and Jam, Pacific Library, Somerset and Rutenry. So we'd like to thank you guys. Special thanks to Sylvia Oliveira of Go to Yeah, I do Yeah, we have a big thanks to Sylvia because she was the one that helped us spearhead this and really made this day happen. So big thank you to Sylvia. Thank you for running up the Builder team to make this happen. And uh, also in your pamphlet here, it talks about Mr. Troy Ashby and some of the things he's done as regards to memorizing pi. So take a look at that. You got the first thousand digits of pi. You use that to check that all out there. Then you got your pi jokes. Don't forget your jokes. <laughs> and then a crossword puzzle. Okay, so you guys can play in your crossword puzzle. So you have fun this one. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and then check out on this page here all of the interesting pi information. Now, kiddies, the absolute single most important that part, teachers, parents, everyone, make sure you pay attention to this one very important part, the QR code, okay? This QR code right here takes you directly to our camp bursary. And this allows you to get two weeks sponsored at Planet Camp, all right? So teachers, make sure you go home. Parents, make sure you scan this so that you can apply for your two, three weeks. And our goal is to give as many kids as possible. Last year, we were able to provide 200 kids. Think about that. 200 kids were able to get two weeks of camp. This year, we want to do way more than that. So please, check out that in there, and then sign up for our summer camp. All right, so that brings us to the end of our presentation today. We want to thank uh, the grads for doing the pies and send them all out today. We also want to thank uh, Sargasso again for sponsoring the delivery. We really appreciate that. We want to thank Ty. Ty! Ty! All right, Ty! Ty is, think about this, she is just like you. 
She is little than a friend. All she has is a younger new kid girl that just went to school and loves me. And loves me. <laughs> Paid attention and reached out for opportunities. Opportunities came, didn't shy away, reached out for them, and was able to partner with Dota, get internships, and now scholarships. 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 Keep that in mind. <laughs> so I didn't want to say because I wasn't 100 percent sure yeah. if we had that. So scholarships as well. Scholarships as well. And that's available to any of you guys. And Filter is really, really interested in helping young ones to do that. So if you got math, if you're thinking about it, careers in math, look up for Filter, look up for the internship opportunities, keep studying hard in mathematics, and uh, just keep doing everything you can. All right, so with that, we are gonna wrap it up. Remember, Pi Day is at 1.59, okay? It's 1.57, so we're going to wrap it up right now. And uh, did you want to say anything before we get up out of here? I just want to say it's been amazing to participate in Pledge mm -hmm. Mass Pie Day. I hope everyone enjoyed the presentation. We've had an awesome, awesome presentation of the first 1,000 digits of Pi, which is just amazing from memory. And I'm just so grateful that I could be a part. And I'm happy to be here every time. And we are happy to have you here with us every time. And let me do something again for Pi Day. You know who I'm calling you, right? You better invite me. Yeah, I will be calling you. <laughs> so it's 158. It's like almost close enough to Pi Day, right? We're just about there. One more minute. So make sure everybody at the same time, every single person at the same time, at 1.59, we're going to say happy Pi Day, okay? So it's almost that time now. It's like... I should have had a timer. A timer. 